known to us. That was wonderful. Brother Ted and Miss Sammy, would y'all go ahead and come up? Maybe here to my right, if you would, please. And uh, those of you that are presenting uh, something here tonight, if you go ahead and take your place as well. How do you say thank you for 33 years? You know, uh, well, I don't know exactly what that'll look like, but we're going to try to do our best in doing so. And uh, just to give God the honor and, of course, the glory for it. Uh, but God has really used them in all of our lives, you know, in so many uh, different ways. And so we've got a few uh, gifts that we're going to give as uh, they make their way and different ones going to be involved. I might mention as everybody's getting ready, uh, Brother Seth Bailey was going to give testimony because he can testify as to, well, how much help he needed <laughs> and uh, how instrumental Brother Ted was in all that. But he's, he's sick or faking it. I don't know which, but... <laughs> No, he's not, he's not well, so he was scheduled to do so. So first of all, um, I'll just come this way a little bit closer, if you would. And Angie has flowers, uh, Miss Sammy, to give to you. And uh, then I'm going to ask Miss Melanie Barnes uh, to come and uh, to say a word about Miss Sammy. And she has a gift on behalf of the ladies uh, because of the impact that not only has Brother Ted had, but Miss Sammy as well. So, Miss Melanie. I am very thankful for the honor uh, to honor Miss Sammy today. Brother Ted and Miss Sammy have been such a blessing to our family, and we love them both very much. Darren and I enjoy being in his young married class, and we still learn from him today. Miss Sammy has faithfully served the families of our church through the nursery ministry for many years. Often, aspects of the nursery go by unnoticed. She served by recruiting workers, preparing the schedule, um, cleaning classrooms, and caring for the children. Responsibilities that are now shared between three coordinators were individually carried out by her. She laid the foundation for the way the nursery is run today. From the very first day that I brought my daughter Allie to the nursery, she was a wealth of knowledge and encouragement for me as a first-time mom. Not only did I know that our daughter was well cared for, but I could also count on Sammy to patiently answer all of my questions. Over the next 10 years, Sammy had at least one of our children in the nursery, and she loved them as she would her own. Throughout the years, she taught me by example how to interact with parents, how to encourage workers, and care for the youngest members of our church family. I owe much of what I know about caring for children to Sammy and her investment in me. Upon her retirement, she began to pass along her responsibilities. So it was at that time that I realized just how much Sammy did behind the scenes. She spent countless hours developing a system to provide our church with a safe and clean place to care for our children. Our health protocols, cleaning procedures, and system for checking in and out were all put in place by Sammy. And while she has retired from being a, the coordinator position, she is always willing to help out any time we have a need. She not only influenced us in the role of nursery coordinator, but also through her example as a godly wife. I have observed her joyfully supporting and following Brother Ted's leadership for many years. Her example is truly an inspiration to me. Though we could never repay all that Miss Sammy has done for the families in our church, we do have a gift we'd like to present her today. It is a small token of gratitude for all that she has done in serving the families of our church. So Miss Sammy, we are grateful for your years of ministry and we love you very much. <laughs> 